In this video, we're going to go through a simple marketing plan that is extremely effective for family law firms. My name is Phil Rischer. I'm the owner of Flash Consulting. We work with law firms and local service businesses to help them increase their sales and keep their schedules full. And in this video, I'm going to go through the plan that we implement with family law firms to get results, to increase their consults, to increase their retained clients, and ultimately to grow their business, their revenue, and their profit. All right, so let's just get right into it. Um, this is the flash funnel that we utilize when we work with companies and you can take this framework and implement it into your business. And so there's three pillars and we're going to go through all three of them and how you can utilize them in your business. The first one is visibility. So how do more people find out about you? The second one is converting the visibility into actual leads, like getting the leads, the consults, and then ultimately putting together a, a packet for them and then retaining the client, a retainer agreement. And then how do we retarget people to bring them back into the funnel? And we're going to talk through what that looks like for specifically family law firms. All right, so visibility, there are a bunch of ways that you can get visibility for your business. I'm sure you know that you can run ads on like, you know, Justia or other platforms that are out there. Avo is a popular one. Um, so you can run ads that give you leads um, that come into your business. What we found to be the most effective way to get business in the door is to do organic search online and i'm going to show you a specific strategy for that it does take a little bit longer to get up and running but if you do this strategy it's a snowball that you don't have to pay for it's just search engine optimization that will continue to feed you leads and leads and leads um, before i get into that there are some other ones on here specifically obviously you know you can't prospect call family law and say like hey you want to get divorced <laughs> Um, but some of the other strategies that we look at from an organic search perspective is creating a Google business profile. So that way, when people are searching for family law attorneys in your area, then they find you based on the number of reviews you have and your reputation in the market. I'm not really going to go into that today. I've made other videos about that. In this video, we're going to specifically talk about this organic search online for visibility. So what this looks like is someone goes to Google and they type in Google um, a question and especially when it comes to divorce and family law and adoption, people don't know the answers. So they're asking Google for those answers. And so what you want to do is you want to provide the answers to those questions in a format that makes sense. So I'm going to show you how we would recommend doing this and how we implement this. So the first thing that we do is we use this tool called Answer the Public. It's free. And what we do is in the topic up here, I just picked um, a state. I did California. So we type in Divorce California, United States, and we click search. And so you can see here these key indicators for things that are highly searched, average search, and lowest search. And so you can, you can download this right here into an Excel file. But I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So you can see these really heavy orange ones, How to Divorce California, Are California Divorce Records Public, um, Divorce in California. And you can see it's broken down who, um, who did divorce Get, did divorce get canceled? Who gets house in divorce in California? So all these questions, people are searching online with high intent. You can see that based on this chart. So what we recommend is taking all of these queries and creating content for your website. The reason that this is important is because, like we mentioned before, people go to Google, search for these questions, and they want we want them to go to your website. And what happens is this visibility brings people onto your website so that hopefully they can convert into customers. And we're going to work, we're going to talk about this strategy in a sec, but I just want to continue on this visibility perspective because this is really important to get people to your website and to get calls in for people at the bottom of the funnel. These are people that are searching because they have intent based searches, which means that they're probably looking for this service eventually or now. So you want to go through and pull out some of these. Um, if you you know if you own a law firm, you can give these to some of your lawyers and just say, hey, if you have a sec, you know, put up put some questions, put some answers together, or even as some paralegals if they have some downtime. Um, if not, you can hire a company like us, and we can write information, you know, get it 70, 80 percent of the way there, and then we can give it to you and say, hey, just look over this. If there's anything unique in your specific jurisdiction, make those tweaks. Um, but we want we want the content to be written on a they ask you answer type of structure, which means what are people asking, and then you providing the answers and giving them some guidance around it. Obviously, you don't want to tell them you know everything. That's why you set up a meeting and you learn about their specific situation. But as if you're at a you know a dinner party and someone says, hey, you know, it, did div can you get divorced online in California? 
you would probably give that person an answer and say, no, you can't do that. Or yeah, you can. You can actually use this tool or this tool, but we don't recommend doing that because blah, 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 blah. So you're using this as a talking point to start to, to build a know, like, and trust factor. So there's your questions there. Um, you can also see other things on here. Uh, divorce in California cost, divorce in California process, divorce in California alimony, more things. I'm sure as a, an attorney, you hear all these questions all the time and you can come up with these answers in content format. So that's what we recommend. You can see there's a bunch of stuff here you can go through and there's all, all these different alphabetical and everything. So this is an awesome tool. I think they give you like two or three searches per um, day. Um, one of the other ones that's really good is these comparisons. What comparisons are is versus. So like California divorce and child custody, um, you can com compare like California divorces versus legal separation. What's the difference? And you can talk about that. So these ones work really good if it's a high intent search. Um, you can see a lot of it is just like divorce California stuff. Um, all right, so once you get that ha that handled from a visibility perspective, you can create one a week, one a month, you know, whatever it is, and you can start to see some traffic on this this visibility perspective. Um, this is the the most important part because the conversion aspect is what a lot of law firms miss, and that is that people go to your website whether they're referred by their therapist, whether they're referred by someone, or they do any of this stuff. They come to your website. And what happens? So I just put together this demo site so that you can see. So they land on your site. Let's say they land on one of your content pieces. Um, we want them to, and different law firms have different thoughts on this, and you might not have this feature or want this feature, but having a chat widget here, which allows people to fill this information out. And when they fill it out, it comes over as a lead form to your business. And so we know that you know there could be some conflict of interest or you don't want information out there, whatever it is. This is one conversion tool that some people utilize. The second thing that you want to make sure is that you have a schedule a consultation button. This is really, really important. And a lot of law firms say, well, I don't want people just to book randomly. You know, I need to do my uh, discovery. I need to make sure that I, I cross check to make sure that they're not, you know, I'm not working with opposing parties, all that stuff. And you can do that in this process. Um, the reason that this is so important is because most of the times what we found is that people looking for divorce are, are just not casually just browsing around looking for divorce. They may be doing it in secrecy. They may not want to call someone and talk on the phone. They may, may feel um, nervous about doing any of this stuff. And they might just want to be you know at home by themselves at 11 o'clock at night and they want to fill out this schedule of consultation form and not have anyone really know about it because they just want to, to see what they need to do. So um, highly recommend this. Basically, what you can do is you can use a tool like Calendly, or we have some tools that can set this up. Um, we have a couple different examples here, but let's say that you um, want to do a 60-minute consult and you do charge a fee for your consults, so you could put that here. You could also do a 30-minute consult, and basically, when they click this and they fill out this form, um, what this is going to allow them to do is you can do your um, cross-check. So you can put their information in and you can ask for their opposing party's name. So that way you can see if it's a conflict of interest right when it comes in before you even have a meeting, just as you would on the phone to make sure that you know, you're not working with opposing parties. So you could add a, a, a question on there that asks that. Um, and then you could schedule this right onto a calendar or you could just get this as a form and then you know people can go and your customer service representative could call them and you know walk through the process. Uh, but what we found is that by having a conversion process, with, which is a lead comes in, then you go to schedule an appointment. Let's say that let's say that a lead comes in and they don't and they don't answer the phone when you call them be, because they don't want to talk on the phone, right? Can you text message them and how does that work? Um, do you have a follow up email sequence that they go through? Right? These are all conversion tools that you can implement. Um, you send out a retainer agreement, they don't fill it out. How do you follow up with them? Are you following up with them? What's the process? Right? These are all funnels that you can build. And then ultimately you get to a sale. Um, and then the last part of this equation is retargeting. Now with family law specifically, there's two ways that we've seen that you can retarget. The first one is if there's a child in the picture, they're obviously going to keep you know child custody and you're going to have to go and, and discuss these things um, on an ongoing basis. So you could create a monthly, quarterly newsletter about what's going on from a custody perspective, um, maybe sharing some of these recent blog posts that you have with your database, just staying top of mind with any new laws that have come out or anything that people that have gone through a divorce need to know. The reason this is beneficial is because you stay top of mind so they can refer you to people and get referrals. The other thing is they might not know that, hey, I'm, 
I'm going into my next marriage and this time I want to get a prenup and you do prenups? I didn't even know that, but now they do because you send out a monthly newsletter about that. Um, so that's one way that you can utilize retargeting. And then the second way is maybe this business to business side, maybe you have a big um, therapist network that refers you business. You can put them into a monthly newsletter and give them more strategic talking points inside of their therapy sessions or whatever it is, whatever business to business, realtors, you know, there's a bunch of different companies that can recommend you. Um, maybe you're the subject matter expert and you're sharing information with them to bring them back into the funnel over here. Uh, so this strategy, these three pillars, we do them for the companies that we work with, the family law firms. Uh, we've had really good success in growing new leads over 20% year over year, increasing retained clients 20% because a lot of times with family law firms, they don't really have a plan and they try to do you know running ads on Avo or they try to set up some of this stuff and there's not a real focus on like getting consults and really meeting the customer or the prospects where they're at. It's just generic stuff. And so if that's something that you're interested, I'll put a link down below. You can set up a meeting with us, a strategy session. It's free just to see if it might be the right fit. Um, if not, be sure to hit like and subscribe. We post content about growing local service businesses, and we'll see you in the next video.